I'm Clay Taylor with Swarovski Optic North America and I love digiscoping and our new spotting scope is wonderful but if you already have the ATM or ATS versions of our spotting scope you can easily use the new adapters on that one. Um, when you order the adapter you're going to specify ATM or ATS scope. The M was the uh, magnesium, the S is the aluminum bodied version. It uh, doesn't matter whether it's an 80 millimeter or 65 because everything goes on the eyepiece. So the way to do this is take your eyepiece off, out comes your little focusing aid, on goes a little ring that's got a tab that fits into the focusing aid area, and your eyepiece goes right back on just like normal. Click, locks in place. Okay, now what you need is the specific adapter ring for these scopes and I found it was a little easier to take the eye cup off and get this thing on that way. This will slide down and I can replace the eye. Oh, I'm going to put the back ring on it first. There we go. And then your eye cup goes back in. So now whether you have your camera with you or not, the ring is going to be here. You can leave it on the scope at all times. If you want to zoom, look through your do normal birding, you do your focusing, you can turn this and it's turning your zoom. Everything works like normal. Slide this back down and it locks into place. So once, once you have the adapter sleeve on your eyepiece, then it depends on whichever uh, uh, digiscoping adapter you have or camera you have. This is the DCB2, which is obviously the new incarnation of our old DCB. The people loved, used to love the fact that the old DCB would flip their camera up out of the way. Um, this is now a much more compact, easy to use adapter, flops in place, locks in place um, to adjust your camera. Very simple. Loosen, loosen the screw, lock it in place. Loosen this to be able to go side to side, closer or nearer to get your lens at the optimum position, and away you go. You can even loosen this up to go to portrait view as opposed to landscape view, and if you want to take it off, just pops right back out and, and everything stays in, in place that way. So, um, it will take small interchangeable lens cameras like a mirrorless camera with a, with a pancake lens, but to be quite honest with you, the fact that we now have the TLS APO that will fit on a mirrorless camera as well as a traditional DSLR, this lens is the only lens in the world that was designed for digiscoping behind spotting scope eyepieces. It was designed at the same time as this entire optical system. It's a 30 millimeter pancake lens, meaning on my micro four thirds system camera here, when I slide it onto the eyepiece and, and lock it in place, I now start at about a 1700 millimeter lens and go on up to almost 3000 millimeters by the time I, I zoom my zoom eyepiece. Um, you can get some absolutely remarkable pictures with it. And the great thing is, pops back off so you can go back to your viewing.